Hey, everyone. I'm so excited to be here and to share today's topic. Um, I think today's topic is a really, really important um, topic for everyone to just, um, you know, kind of think about, um, especially because it's so impactful on everyone's life, especially, I mean, most especially when it comes to changing your lifestyle habits and changing um, your health. So um, let's not waste any time and let's just dive right into it, right? So today's topic is going to be on the topic that I posted in my uh, Facebook group yesterday. So it's about accountability. <laughs> um, accountability is huge. So let's talk about what accountability actually is or how I think about it or how I kind of define it. So what accountability is for me is that it's like the act of being held accountable. And so then what is accountable? So being held responsible, being held liable, being held, you know, for what your word is, right? Being held for your actions and your decisions that you've made and you've placed on yourself. So this is really big um, when it comes in terms to your health goals. And you're probably like, well, how, why, right? And it is because a lot of the times our actions and our decisions are usually rooted in some form or in some way uh, in our health, right? It's either for like an unhealthy or for healthy, right? It's one or the other. Am I going to go to the gym today? Am I not going to go to the gym today? Am I going to cook this dinner? Or am I not going to cook this dinner? Am I going to drink the tea or am I going to drink the soda? Am I going to yell at my husband or am I going to, you know, talk this out nicely, right? Like all of these things um, are things that many people want to work on, but what they're lacking or what they're missing is this accountability piece, right? Um, if think about it, like if I were to ask you to like right now what your biggest barrier, what your biggest preventative thing is for you to get from your vision, right, to get from where your healthy vision is, why have you not taken action today? What is preventing you? What is, you know, holding you back, right? What's, what's that barrier? And you're most likely going to say in some way, shape, or form that it's related to accountability, right? That it, in some way, right? It's either it's either that you aren't taking action, it's that you're not clear on the action, maybe you're not consistent, right? So consistency is a huge portion when it comes to accountability. Maybe you're not clear, maybe you're stuck, right? All of these things can, can be in the same realm of when we're talking about accountability. So then why is it so challenging, right? Why is being accountable or hold, hold your own self accountable, right? So hard <laughs> because it is. And I'm going to give you some of my own examples or my own example just from this morning. So it's just easy to manipulate ourselves into doing the opposite. This is why it's so hard is because of this particular thing. We easily, we can easily manipulate ourselves into doing the opposite of what we actually are wanting to do. So as an example, this morning, yes, just this morning, like I also deal with accountability, you know, struggles every now and again, more than, more now than again, <laughs> um, is... I woke up this morning and I normally, my part of my morning routine is to go to the gym and work out, right? Cause it's, it's like healthy and that's part of like my goal and it's something that I, you know, want to do. And so I woke up and I was like, I totally was sitting there convincing myself to not do it. I was convincing myself not to do it. It was too cold out, right? So this is how I, I like to think about it. I have you know, like, you know, when people talk about like the good and the bad and the devil and the angel sitting on your shoulders, I like to call them negative Nancy and positive Patty, <laughs> especially when you're referring to accountability. So here's what was going on um, and why it was so challenging is because negative Nancy over here, this, this, this one, she was downplaying and bringing up so many excuses, right? Um, as to why I shouldn't go. And then positive Patty over on this side was like, well, 
no, you said that, you know, this was a goal of yours. You know that it's healthy. You know that this is how you start your day. This is part of your morning routine. If you don't do it, you know, then, you know, you're not going to actually, you know, be uh, feeling good for the rest of the day. And the negative Nancy, you know, you know, keeps coming back, right? She ridicules, she ridicules. And it's just like this, this, this inner, like, um, conflict, this inner battle. And what ends up happening most times, most times, is that negative Nancy wins. Why? Why does negative Nancy win? Because that's really like how you get clear on this idea of why you can easily manipulate yourself. You can easily manipulate yourself because what you're, first off, what you're trying to change or what you're trying to do is actually, it, it requires action. It requires you to actually do something, right? Do something that you are not used to doing, something that you're not normally going to do. And that, took, that then comes into the fact of it's, it's part of your brain, um, your brain's like psychology. Your brain is, is constantly seeking for excuses, for a way out, for, you know, right, for danger, for things that are going to be in your way, right? It's constantly scanning for these things. And so that's really what negative Nancy is all about, is she's, she is that, that, that part in your brain that is constantly telling you, you know, that there's something wrong, that you shouldn't do it, right? That you don't want to do it, right? And then it tells you all the reasons why. And so that's why she normally wins is because she has been there a lot longer than Positive Patty has. Positive Patty doesn't have a chance yet because she's not well versed. She's not well experienced, right? She does not have the experience to actually be able to talk you into uh, making the change, right? To actually be able to go to the gym. So that was my example this morning. I personally struggled with it and I was like, this is a perfect like segue to talk about um, my accountability piece today is, is like, wow, like what a perfect timing. And I also wanna note that like accountability is something that you constantly work on, right? It's one of those things that you're constantly maintaining. It's not a thing where you're just gonna magically like poof, like you're going to be like excelled at it. You're never going to have to do it again in your life. Like it's just something that you know how to do and that's it. That's not true. You have to constantly work at it, right? Like I've been constantly working. I have to constantly tell myself that, um, you know, to wake up in the morning and go work out, to wake up in the morning and do this, to do that, to cook dinner, to cook breakfast, to cook that, right? Like you have to work at it all the time because you have to remember that negative Nancy is always going to have the upper hand. Why? Biology and experience. She's had way more experience. She had way more life than positive Patty ever will have, right? Because she was there from the beginning, right? Negative Nancy is your negative lifestyle habits, right? All of the negative lifestyle habits that have gotten you to be unhealthy in the first place is because negative Nancy was there. So what you're doing is you're pretty much trying to like completely re, re like re you know like turn the tables on what you were doing to what you want to do. And so there's this middle. And that's where we get caught up, right? And then the time and then the moment we reach this like aha, like okay, we did it. We 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 conquered it. We get a little cocky. And this is another reason why accountability is so hard is because you get a little cocky, you're like, I got this, like, boom, like, I can, I can conquer anything. And you can, but you have to come from a place of still being humble, of coming from a place of still accepting that you're always going to be in a lifelong transformation, right? And that it, it's going to get easier, right? It's going to be easier. It's not going to take as much effort. It's not going to take as much time and energy to convince yourself that negative Nancy over here is wrong and that you want to actually do what positive Patty wants to do, <laughs> right? So that's really what it is. It's, it's through practice. And so that kind of is like leading me into my next thing of like how. How do you actually start taking action and holding yourselves accountable? And it's through practice, it's through guidance, so guiding you on how to practice, right? Like what is this practice actually looking like? And then it's having a clear goal or clear like action set into place that you can actually take actions on, right? So you can actually hold yourself accountable towards a very specific thing. If you're too broad, it's not gonna work. You have to be specific in what you're doing, you have to practice what you're doing, 
and you have to know what that practice actually is going to look like for you. This is why a lot of people don't do it. It's because they don't, A, they don't, they might not realize that this is the steps to actually hold yourself accountable, but also because there's, there's lots of steps, right? There's lots of like, like very specific geared steps. The other really, really important thing in this is that you have to have a plan in place. A plan in place for when these lows hit you, right? For when a scenario, when a time, when you know, when something pops up that you weren't necessarily ready for. Let's say, for example, um, you are trying to um, you're trying to stay away from sweets, right? Because we all know sweets is not a good thing to have, especially for your gut. Right, especially when you're trying to deal with an overgrowth issue, especially yeast. Yeast loves sugar. So if you put sugar in your body, simple sugar very specifically, but sugar in your body, the yeast is gonna eat it up and it's just gonna continue to overpopulate and overpopulate. So if you're trying to stay away from sugar and you go, let's say you go to a work party, you go to a family gathering, you go somewhere, and they have, because in most gathering places, right, in most social settings, there's going to be some form of like dessert. So let's say there's dessert there. You weren't expecting it. Maybe you just weren't expecting it. You're like, you know what? I told everybody what I was doing. Like I was expecting, you know, I was going to be ready for it. Like I got it. But you get there and you just cannot stop thinking about how you want, you want the damn cookie. You want, you want the ice cream. You want, you know, you want it all. And that's all you can think about. That's literally all you can think about. I know I've been there, done that, like guilty as charged, right? Like I've done that and I still do that every now and again because like I said, I'm not perfect. Health is not about being perfect. Health is not about getting to a, like a destination. Health is not about you're going to like automatically feel good one day. Health is about consistently making action, consistently taking action towards your, your goal, towards your health, right? Every day you got to start over. Every day you got to do something because every day there's going to be new challenges and new barriers that you're going to have to learn how to get over. And this is one of them, right? So this scenario pops up that you're at, you're at a work party, you're at, you know, wherever it is that you're at and there's these desserts there and they're on your mind and you can't stop thinking about them and you're like, oh my God, like I just want to eat it, right? Like you just want to go over there, pick up the plate and just like shovel it into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I did too, I did too. So what, what, what I'm trying to get that is that you need to have a plan set in place for these moments because these moments are going to happen. So it's not about trying to prevent these moments because you can't prevent them. You can't foresee every single thing in your life that you're going to just avoid, right? Because you'll be avoiding life. You will be avoiding life. And that's not any better of a quality of life to live than the quality of life you're living at this moment. So it's about learning and guide, right? So it's about getting clear, it's about practicing, it's about looking what that practice looks like, it's about having a plan in place for when things go wrong or when something pops up and you weren't necessarily ready for. And the plan is put into place so you don't fall in back into the trap, right? So you worked so hard, you worked so hard, you worked so hard, and all of a sudden these these desserts, these cookies and brownies and ice cream is like staring at you and you're like, uh, I didn't, I was not ready for you, right? Like I wasn't ready for you. But you know what? The world doesn't care. The world does not care. The rest of the world does not care if you're ready or not. They just it just doesn't. So that's why you have to take responsibility. And that's where accountability comes in. So this is, so that's why accountability is super important. It's super important because it's usually the number one barrier as to why people get stuck, people feel stuck, people don't take action, their health remains in an unhealthy state, right? And it's also important um, because it, you're, you're battling, if you're, if you're battling something, right? Like you're battling these, these demons. You're battling Nancy over here and you're battling Patty over here, right? Um, and then how, how you take action is what we just talked about, right? So it's about having a plan put in place. It's about guiding yourself and knowing what this practice looks like of accountability, what um, your plan or what your practice is gonna look like. Um, what your goals and your vision for your like life is actually going to be. Because the more specific you get on this, the better it's going to be. 
the more broad you are, the harder of a challenge it's going to be for you because you're not going to be ready for these plans, right? For that scenario pop up, for that low that's going to hit you, right? It, you're not going to be ready for them if you're too general, if you're too broad with what it is that you want. So if you're saying to yourself, well, I just want to be healthy, that's awesome. Like, I'm, I'm really happy that you took that step. But what's next? What's the next thing? What does that mean for you? Right? Like, what does that mean for you? And like, what action steps do you want to take? What, where do you see your life outside of being like, once you reach it? Like, what are you going to feel like? What is your life going to look like? What are you going to do? Right? Like, these are all super important things to have like on your brain when you're thinking about this stuff. So then like what, like, so then what next? Like this seems like it's super easy, right? Like I'm, I'm pretty much just gave you like what accountability, like how to do accountability, but it's not. And it's not that easy because why? Negative Nancy over here, remember? Your lifelong habits that you've created for yourself are going to be your default settings. They're going to trip you up. You're gonna have days where you're gonna be like, oh crap, I was not ready for that, right? And so you can do it on your own, right? Obviously, you can always do things on your own. You can always go through your own journey. But what happens and what I always say, and I can say this because I've done this, right? Like I tried doing it on my own for years. And what it ended up costing me was it ended up costing me a whole lot of time, right? If you try to do this on your own and you try to be your own accountability person, What's going to happen is you're going to spend a lot of time, a lot more time than if, you were, than if you were to reach out and get help on trying to fix it and trying to hold yourself accountable because you're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, and then you're going to level out for a while and then it's going to be up, down, up, down, up, down, and then you're going to level out, right? That's, what's gonna, that's what it's going to be like because you have nobody helping you. Unless you try to like recruit your family and friends, but I've talked about this on numerous occasions, family and friends are not the best accountability coaches and they're not the best accountability coaches for one reason. They care and love for you way too much, right? They have, they have judgments, they have a, like it comes from a loving place, but they have judgments and they have biases against you and against what you're doing. So they want you to succeed probably more than you do. And so the minute that you fall into that low, because remember, you're going to fall into a low, that's not preventable. The minute that you fall into a low and you out of weakness, out of you know not having enough practice, out of not having enough guidance, out of not having enough support, out of not having a plan put into place, are going to you know eat, eat the desserts. And then you're gonna go back and you're gonna tell your family and friends that and they're gonna just seem, it's gonna seem as if they're attacking you. But really what they're doing is they're coming from a loving space of being like, I want what's best for you and you didn't do it. Why? Why didn't you do it? Don't you want to change? Don't you wanna be healthier? Don't you wanna like live longer? Don't you wanna like have a better quality of life? And you're just like cowering like, ah, like yes, of course, right? And then you start down that vicious cycle of you go back to your old ways because you're like, you know what, this isn't working, I can't do this, I'm a failure, um, I'm never gonna, you know, I'm never gonna be healthy, I'm never gonna change, right? You start, you go back into that. But it's, it has nothing to do with your capability, it has nothing to do with whether or not you can or you can't, but it has everything to do with, do you have the right things set in place? Do you have the right tools, the right guidance put into place for you? And so that's what I do, right? That's my option. That's the option that I give you. Working with me and, and, and you know, me helping you and me coaching you through this health journey for you or with you is an option. Just like doing it all alone is an option. But doing it all alone has a lot more consequences to it than doing it with somebody else. So my role is or like what, how I see this or how it plays into the coaching, just so you have a better understanding, is that it, I call it one of the five pillars. There's five pillars that I say um, or that are involved or integrated into my coaching practice is that they are the, they're the five pillars to the foundation, right? So the foundation is, is what we actually are doing. And we lay this foundation for your, for your change, right? For your transformation, for your health. And we do this through using the five pillars. And accountability 
is one of those pillars. Why it's one of those pillars? Because without accountability, you will not change. It's flat out, right? You will not change. It just won't happen because you won't be consistent, you won't be taking action, and nothing will change without those two things. So that's what I do is I provide. I provide that. I give you the guidance on how or what actual accountability practice looks like. We go through and we get really, really specific on what your actions and what your goals are for yourself so you are very clear-headed and you know exactly what it is that you are working towards. And then once you work towards that, what is the next thing you're going to work towards? I help you develop these plans, right? The plans put into place, or really it's a mindset put into place for when you fall into these lows, for when, you know, these scenarios pop up that you weren't necessarily ready for. And then I help you practice them, right? Putting them into action, putting them into actual real life scenarios. Super, super powerful, super, super important. Um, it's not something you have to do, right? I'm not telling you, you have to, you have to do this. Like, no, it's an option. It's a very, very, very awesome option in my eyes. I love coaching. I love everything about it. It's why I became a coach. Um, and so I believe it. I believe that, that there is and there can be transformation to be made and that you do not have to sit on the sidelines in your own life for the rest of your life. Your quality of life doesn't have to be low, right? You can be in your you know, 60s and 70s and feel fantastic. You can. People do it. But why or how do they get there? Well, they don't do it by continuously making the unhealthy choices throughout their life. All right, so accountability. Oh, love it. I love talking about accountability. This will probably not be the last time we talk about it in some way, shape, or form, just because it's super, super, super important when it comes to actually making these, these changes, these lifestyle habits work for you and stick, right? So you can be healthy and you can be happy and vibrant and fantastic, right? All of these things that I've heard so many people tell me that that's what they want to feel like. It's, it's achievable, you can do it, all right? You can do it on your own, but just know that it's gonna be harder and it's gonna take longer. Or your other option is that you can work with me and that we can work, we can do this transformation together, right? We can lay this foundation together. So if you're ready for that, if you're ready, if you're in that moment, right? Not everybody's ready. If you're ready for that, message me. I have, I'll have my link below as well or up above if you're in the Facebook group. Um, for my calendar click on my calendar link set up your free consultation right like don't hesitate to reach out to me for help don't hesitate like that's what i'm here for i'm here for a resource i'm a resource is really what it is okay so remember accountability really important make sure that you are you understand that you or you're in a place really that you want to actually change because that's another really really important aspect so when I'm talking about pe some people aren't ready, that's what I'm saying is that some people aren't ready to take like this action. Some people aren't ready to change their health yet, right? They're not ready. They're just not ready. And that's okay. That is okay. You'll get there. And even if you don't, that's still okay. Like that's your life. That's where you are. Okay? All right. Ah, I love talking about accountability. It, and I love, I just love working with accountability. Um, Oh, as a reminder, I did actually end up going to the gym. Negative Nancy did not win. I kicked her out. <laughs> um, so positive, uh, positive Patty for the win. <laughs> um, all right? Yeah, so you can do it. We can do this. We can do this, okay? All right. Well, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, and I hope that I gave you a lot to think about. Um, and I'm super sorry about all this lighting, but the sun today has been crazy. <laughs> okay? All right. Um, have a fantastic rest of your day, okay? And I will see you soon.